we are all called to be imitators of Christ that means just as how he lived you and i are called to live just as how he did things you and i are called to do things that means he is our role model we don't look to anybody else but we look to jesus and jesus alone and one of the things that we will see is when we look to luke chapter 6 we will see of the healing of the man with the withered hand in verse 7 we see what happens there it says so the scribes and the pharisees watched him closely whether he would heal on the sabbath that they might find an accusation against him now what would you and i have done if people were watching us closely to find fault with us wouldn't we have been people who seek to please people around us try to gain favor with man but jesus chose not to do so when we read verse 10 it says and when he had looked around at them all he said to the man that is jesus said to the man stretch out your hand and he did so and his hand was restored as whole as the other come on it says there that jesus healed the man no doubt that they were all looking at him they were all waiting to find fault with him it says there that jesus healed him what does that tell you and me the first thing is that jesus is not a man pleaser the same way you and i are called to be not man pleasers but god pleasers look at the way we live sometimes we seek appreciation from people around us but i want to tell you if you truly want to win favor from god stop seeking appreciation from man stop seeking honor and glory from man but seek to do what is right before the eyes of god seek to be a god pleaser another thing we see is jesus never hesitated to do what was right that means to do the right thing no matter what people think about you no matter what people say about you do the right thing sometimes we begin to compromise why because we feel that we will lose our friendship we will lose people dear and dear to us but jesus chose to do the right thing i want to encourage you you and i are called to be imitators of god imitators of jesus that means he was a god pleaser he chose to do what is right you and i need to do the same the next thing we see is when we look at jesus he never hesitated to do what was right but he also chose to do what was good for others come on you and i are choose to be people who imitate jesus let us ask ourselves as we begin this day am i an imitator of christ do i choose to do good for others or do i connive do i be a person who plans who plots the fall of others am i someone who's jealous of others or am i someone who looks to jesus and says i want to be like jesus i choose to do good for others i choose to please god i choose to do what is right let us ask ourselves this question as we begin this day that at the end of it all we would become more and more like jesus god bless you